In this video, we will show you a software that can be used to encode DTMF. We developed this software as an example of the custom DTMF encoder application. You can use this software freely. Please make the best use of it. The link to download please see the description of this video. The installer file that you will get is a file called Setup CXR DTMF Encoder, like this. This software can be run on Windows 7, 8 and 10. Because it uses Net Framework 4.0, if your computer doesn't have Net Framework 4.0 installed, please install Net Framework 4.0 on your computer first. When ready, please run the CXR DTMF encoder setup file. As usual you just have to click the next button, and follow all the processes until it's finished. Wait until the setup process is complete. Now the setup process is complete. Open the program start menu, then find the CXRDTMF generator shortcut menu, run it. When run you will find a display like this. DTMF output will be directed to one of the device out or sound card installed on your computer. If there are multiple hardware devices, you must select them in this combo box. This is a keypad, which we usually encounter on a telephone keypad. Each of these keys when clicked, will encode one DTMF key. The keys that can be encoded include the numbers 0 to 9, asterisk, hash, keys A, B, C and D. And this is a button to encode multiple DTMFs. You must enter the DTMF keys that will be encoded in this column. You can set DTMF parameters from here. Namely parameters tone time, break time, and pause time. This parameter value is calculated per millisecond. For those who are not familiar with these parameters, it will be seen especially when you encode some DTMF. You can type a DTMF key like this. OK. Now we will run the encoder function of this software. Click the start button, so the software is ready to encode the DTMF key you want. Take a look at the following demo. We try to change the parameters. Now we change the break time. Notice when we generated some of the DTMF keys. To see the break time parameter function. We'll change the break time again. Listen to the tone now. Again, the length of the tone duration, the pause between keys, can be set in the tone parameter. Listen to the tone now. Thus we present this video. Hope it is useful. If you wish, please support by clicking the like, comment, and share buttons. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed to our channel.